Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Waste Over the Wednesday. So today's video is going to be a review on the newish but not so new uh, Lorac Contour Pro Palettes. This is obviously not in its box, it's over there. But, I mean, who wants to see the box, really? So, this is what um, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette looks like. I've had this in my hands for a little over a week now, and I have been using it on a daily basis. Just so we can test it out and really give you an honest, raw opinion on this. And, of course, I will be showing you a demo on how it applies on the skin. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. And I guess you guys can be the judges from here. Um, so I'm first going to talk about the packaging, quality, etc. Then we can go on to the review. And then we can move on to my opinion and let you know if this is waste or worth it. So first of all, this is what the palette will come in. It's just a regular box. And on the inside, you do receive instructions on how to contour your face. If you are a beginner, then I think this is definitely helpful because it'll pretty much give you a guide as to um, the face or the shape of your face. I don't know if you can see that, but it's down here and it'll tell you how to contour your face depending on the type of shape that you have. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then when you open your box, you will have your Lorac Pro palettes. It's as sleek and it has the same like silk type of finish as the Lorac Pro 1 and Pro 2 eyeshadow palettes, which I love. And the amazing thing is that it comes with a brush, so you don't have to buy this separately. It'll come with your palettes. As you open it, you will see these shades. You have the beige highlight, you have the yellow highlights, you have the shimmer highlights, you have the light contour. Um, deep contour and medium contour. These are the two that I use for my skin tone. Now, what I like about this palette is that the pan sizes are pretty big, but I was a little bit disappointed with this one just because I don't feel like it'll suit every skin tone in my opinion. For me, it looks okay, but it's not my favorite. It's not my choice of highlights. It has a little bit of that white undertone, which again for me is just, it's not something that I like. It looks okay on me, but again, it's just, it's not my favorites. So my favorite to highlight is obviously the yellow highlight because it's very similar to the Ben Eye Banana Powder and pretty much every other contour palette that is out there has a yellow um, highlights now. Now this one, the beige highlight has a little bit more, it is a little bit yellow, but it's a little bit more pale. I like to use this right underneath here when I really want that brightening effect underneath my eye. Now with the brush, it says that it can be used for both applying your highlights and your contour. So if you use it like this, you can apply your highlight like this. And if you want to use it for contour, you just turn it like this, like sideways. And you'll just bring it into your cheekbones and then just chisel it out that way. Really quickly, the retail value for this, I believe, is around $48, $49. I'm going to give you quick swatches on, on the palette just so you can see how pigmented it is. So that's the first one. This is um, Light Contour. Now this doesn't show up on my skin too well because I am darker complexion. It is a little bit ashy. Then we have Deep Contour, which is this one right here. You really only need a little bit and it goes a long way and it's that one right there and the last one which is medium contour and it's this one right here that one right there now this one as well is a little bit ashy so that's why I like to mix these two together now the product itself it's really creamy it's very velvety and it's very smooth so a little product goes really a long way when you dip in your brush, you can see a lot of powder or a lot of residue, and that's because it is so creamy. So you really don't need a lot of this product to get a good 
um, under eye brightening effects or a really nice contour actually if you apply too much it can get a little bit muddy so you do have to be careful on how you apply the product so I believe that is everything that I wanted to talk about or that I wanted to say about the palette itself um, if I miss anything please let me know but I think I touched space on the price um, the quality of the product. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the demo just so you can see how it applies onto my skin, how well it blends, etc. And then afterwards I will let you know if again this is waste or worth it. So first thing I'm going to go in with a concealer and just apply it to the places where I normally highlight. So today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, the Weightless Complete Coverage. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender and then we can go in and set everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Lorac Pro Contour Palettes and I'm going to be taking the yellow shade which is called Yellow Highlights. It's this one right here. And I'm going to be using the brush that comes with it. This is what it looks like. Right here and then bringing it down. So I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't make a super like bright appearance, which it's okay. What I do sometimes if I want to go the extra mile is I take this one, which is the beige highlights, and I just will apply it right here. That'll just light up my face a tad bit more. So now we're going to go ahead and do the contour. Um, I like to mix uh, deep contour and medium contour. Now because I have that straight line and this brush is honestly not the best to blend it out with. It's just a little bit stiff and the bristles are really packed on so it can really so it can give you a really chiseled out cheekbone. I'm gonna take the Sigma F40, what is this, the large angled contour brush, and I'm going to dip it into medium contour and I'm just going to try and blend out that harsh line that the brush created. If you can see this, it looks super muddy, not well blended in, and I just really need to take my time and try to blend it out because it just it looks dirty. Alright, so as you can see, I went ahead and finished off my face. So my final thoughts on this. I don't I don't love this product honestly, and I don't even know if I'm planning to keep it, if I'm planning on returning it. The reason why is because as you saw on that close-up video that I showed you guys, this can be, or it can look very muddy. I don't know if I'm using it wrong or if I'm just applying too much product, but even when I apply just a little bit, I literally just use my brush this way. I go like this and I go like that. And you can see how much product that is, right? So I do try to dust it off a little bit, but the product stays on there. So then I take that, and I'll apply it on my cheekbones and I'll try to blend it up. I feel like it doesn't matter how quick I am to blend that out. It just leaves me that really ugly streak mark, which I don't know if you can see it now. I try to blend it out and sometimes it goes away, sometimes it doesn't. 
but I hate how this part right here looks muddy. It doesn't look contoured or anything like that. It's just, it looks a little bit muddy to me. So that's the one thing that was just really disappointing. Another thing that I didn't completely love about the palette is that for me, or at least for my skin tone, I can't really use any of these colors to truly bronze up my face. I have to go in with a separate product just because these have more of those gray undertones, which I know it's a contour palette, it's not a bronzing palette. I would have liked to have some sort of color to not just only contour my face, but also to just give it a little bit more bronziness. So I always have to just make sure that I blend everything out and then go in with an extra bronzer just to give it a little bit more of that warmth that I'm looking for. Also, in my personal opinion, I really don't think that this is the best contour kit for somebody that is starting out with contour. The reason why, again, is because this can just look so dirty and so muddy on your face easily. If you don't know how to use it, if you don't know how much product to apply, it's just going to be a hot mess. I've tried it so many times and I think I've gotten it okay maybe once or twice out of the times that I've been using it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this product. If you guys own it, let me know what you use to apply it because I'm just, I'm seriously thinking about returning it. It is expensive for $50. I love the beige highlights and the yellow highlights to just really apply it or to set my concealer. But the other colors, I just, I just don't really, I'm not loving them. And like I said, it has a lot to do with that. They do have that grayish undertone, which it's great because it gives you the most natural contour. But I just feel like, it looks too muddy. I know that I've said that a million times, but it it really does. So that is my review on the what am I doing? The Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Again, I don't totally love it. I don't hate it, but I'm still on the fence whether I should return it or not. And please let me know if you own it, your thoughts on it, and I don't know. Maybe I will end up keeping it and just learning, I guess, how to use it better. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video.